Hello again and welcome to another edition of Two Minute Tips, bite-sized videos aimed at business owners and managers. Today's topic, project management. Project management is often overlooked by SMEs because they feel they're not big enough to warrant a formal approach to business change. But just because you have a small team doesn't mean that you have the right skills or approach to make change happen in the right way. So with two minutes on the clock, it's down to me to give you some tips about making project management relevant to you. Project management isn't just a formal mechanism such as PRINCE2 used in large organisations. The principles of project management ensure that change or results are delivered in your business in the right way. At its simplest level, project management is about balancing cost, time and quality in order to achieve a goal. And your business strategy, if you have one, will determine the boundaries for your project management approach. For example, are we focused on delivering quality at any cost? So where does that threshold sit? In businesses that are struggling to deliver their results, there is often an imbalance in these three factors that are being frustrated by an incoherent strategy. So tip number one is that the three elements of project management need to be in harmony and balance, not competition. If they are in competition, ask yourself why you're unable to reach a compromise between time, cost and quality, as you might be asking for the impossible. Tip number two is that in order to project manage effectively, you do need a basic plan. We believe that the purpose of a plan is not to make a rigid timetable, but to create a tool by which you can surface the right conversations at the right time in order to achieve that balance of time, cost and quality that you desire. A simple list of tasks with target dates and progress against them is a great start, but in our view, the best project trackers have a way to flag whether individual tasks are at risk, a simple dashboard for management to see progress at a glance, notes on tasks to help communicate critical information like blockers or enablers to success, and an owner for each task who is given accountability. Giving permission to deliver is really important as giving someone accountability without actual power is just frustrating. The final tip is about who you use to manage projects. Just because you're implementing a new finance system doesn't mean your finance manager is the right person to run the entire project. They might be better used purely as a subject matter expert during the project to help mitigate risk. The skills you're looking for are critical thinking, an analytical and logical mind, but also someone who can cut through conflict and foster great working relationships. Two minutes goes fast. So if you want to know more about how to make project management work for your business, contact us on the details below or visit our website. As always, thanks for watching.